I don't know. I don't. I don't even know why they call us the unskilled people who take these jobs. But it really takes a lot of skill to to pick this fruit. My name is Narciso Martinez and I'm originally from Oaxaca, Mexico. I feel like art for me was sort of like a refuge when I was a kid. I took my first art history class and I learned about artists, a bunch of different artists. Van Gogh, especially Millet. It turns out Van Gogh was doing a lot of studies for Millet, who was, I feel like, the first one who started doing uh, images of uh, the so-called lower classes, farm workers. And so that got me really interested interested in painting and continue doing paintings or drawings. I had two brothers and one sister up in Washington State working in the fields and they told me, why don't you come to work in the fields? She said, money. It was really a whole different kind of struggle. So if we don't have a good crop, then we don't get good, good buckets and good weight and we don't get paid well. We have to work faster. So we have to work every day, every day. We have to not really look after our safety. It's really difficult to breathe under those conditions. I saw people being hurt because uh, as soon as they yell break, you have to go running so that you can make the most out of those five minutes. Many times there are apples on the ground that you step on and your feet goes like in a difficult movement so people get hurt. Farm workers are the ones that are really in the front lines, the ones that are really struggling all the time. I wanted my community to understand the art. I was thinking my, my parents, you know, my brothers, I wanted them to, to understand what I was doing. But at the same time, if I want to be in the contemporary art world conversation, I needed to bring something new to the community, to the art world community. All of a sudden I found myself drawing on cardboard boxes, highlighting the life of the farm workers versus uh, the agribusiness. When I first started, it, it boils, boiled down to portraiture specifically. But I think at one point I actually needed to know more about these people, you know. I wanted to bring more of their stories into the art world, either directly or indirectly. Because not only was already showing a different kind of art that I was doing, but also I was daring to step outside of my comfort zone. The labels on the boxes were representing the, the corporations and the, and the working class was represented by the mark makings. And then it was another portrait on another box when I was working in the fields and I discovered that, that the, these people that I, was, that I was working along with, they were struggling and I realized I was struggling and, and that I could bring those messages to the art that I was doing. Oh, why wouldn't I bring it to the artwork I, that, I, that I'm doing right now? Y si alguien está viendo este video que nomás habla español, quiero decirle que sí se puede en, en, y que sí podemos pensar críticamente si nos proponemos. Y si, you know, con, con sacrificio, pero sí se puede. <laughs>